What is up guys, this is Jazz the Beer Ham here and I've pulled out a good game today and this is Tekken Tag Tournament 1 HD I thought I'd step it back a bit here going back like over 10 years now and this is an arcade playthrough of Jin and Kazuya I love this game to bits I've got the HD version which you get in Tekken Hybrid Tekken Hybrid consists of Tekken Tag Tournament 1 HD and Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Prologue before it actually came out. You know what, I just thought I might as well do a playthrough on this game to see how many people love this game. It has some very, very fast loading screens as well. Love this game. Let's see how well I do. <laughs> it feels weird already because there's no vibration on the uh, dual stick and that just sounds completely wrong. Using the old school gym here. No tag required then. I feel so weird playing this game, but this game had I had so many good memories of this game. It's a collector's edition for any fan. I never had it on PS2. I used to go to the mate's house and play it. It feels a bit weird, it's, it actually it feels a lot weird playing with uh, Jin, it's not like playing with the, uh, the Omen stance. Teabag, teabag. Oh, it didn't even work. Next time I'll get a teabag on the camera. Up against Gunjack. Pulling uh, Kazoo this time. The skinny version. You guys have seen me play with Kazoo on um, Tekken Tag Tournament 2 but you can see me what I'm like on on this game Oh, <laughs> send bait flying in pulled in a tag throw if you don't know how to do that I pressed R1 and triangle teabag 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 <laughs> I'm not sure if I can do it with uh, with uh, Jin, which is the tag throw. I'll just try it now, unless it's another button. I don't know. Me and my mate, I used to go to my mate's house and play this. Right, I used to have competitions on this, on um, just playing normal, like versus battle, and then we used to go on. Like a um, team battle, because it was never about online back then. We didn't have online. We didn't even know what online really was. And that's when those uh, offline games back on PS2 had a lot of content. Teabag, teabag, teabag. That's when a lot of PS2 games had a lot of content back then, because there was no online, so the game wasn't halfly made for online like it is today. And then after team battle, we used to have a go on uh, Tekken Bowl because Tekken Bowl was just amazing what they brought. It was just like a really fun game, but it's not like any other bowling game. It's just where certain players have different skill sets, and they brought an element of fun to see how many people can, well, how many times we can actually get a strike. Sent him flying. Tea bag in his head. I was 
trying to do the omen stance there. Come on. Love that move. This is the last game that Jin actually had his proper moves without them releasing Devil Jin, which is the closest skill set you'll ever have. What? Because in Tekken 4, everyone was like, wow, I love the new Jin, but what the fuck is wrong with his new moves? It was all story related because he just didn't want to have the machine style anymore. And Jin has this move as well. <laughs> I just remember that. Whoa, set so pull flying then. Ugh. Paul looking a little bit skinny, but not skinny than the Tekken 2 Paul. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh guys, that deserves a like. I just ran past him, stepped on his junk, stepped on his privates and just, you know, ran off. That was brilliant. And this is the stage where Tekken Bowl takes place, for those that don't know. And this game looks gorgeous in HD. I think you'll agree when you're watching my video on HD. I'm trying to vary the styles up a bit. All those moves. Oh, don't eat me. I'm just a little boy. I'm just a good boy. Game of flying. Game that <laughs> a round has kicked them just to show who's boss. Know what, this game was so successful that everyone missed it when Tekken 5 came out, when Tekken Dark Resurrection came out, when Tekken 4 came out, and Tekken 6. Everyone was just like, you know what, it's been too long, we want Tekken Tag 2, we want it. The tag element is what makes this game even fun, and I think I believe the tag element is what makes the game better than playing singles. First defeat. You lose. <laughs> the epic dance there from McShayu and Panda. Oh, breaking my back. And if you ever watched the Ghost Battle series, I'll try to make a, a, a Jin costume, which is just like the Tekken Tag Tournament 1 costume with the blue, and that's where I got it from. You see him in the back there, the, the light turquoise blue, instead of the original red flame. Round Up against one. Prototype, Prototype Jack. I don't even know how to block the back. You can't even block it back. Mm. 
love that move. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You win. It's not over yet to the fat lady sings. I love how the camera zooms in and out like it makes it more like epic. Oh, he's back with the parries. You win. Knockout. <coughs> Up against Bruce and Armor King. Skinny Bruce. <laughs> it's like a twig. You're not going nowhere for the tag bitch. And another brilliant thing about Tekken Tag Tournament 1 is that they brought stages back from Tekken 3 but remastered. The only crap thing about Tekken Tag Tournament 1 which I could say was the storylines are just cheesy as hell. Like, they didn't make proper sense. <coughs> Not that they do anymore anyway. But they didn't make proper sense, like, and as in there was no talking, they just kept playing the same music. Up against the epic devil, which you won't see that costume anymore. Unless you, unless you transform into devil on Tekken Tag Tournament 2 with Kazuya. But you won't see the bottom of him, which is a shame really. However, I just thought if you get that little bikini costume on for Kazuya, then I'm pretty sure you can see Devil's Feet. I'll try that later actually. If I remember. I wonder if I can just finish him off at the end even more. Oh, I got stunned with the laser. A lot of people will enjoy this game if you pick it up because it is a simple Tekken game. It doesn't rely on juggles, Tekken Assault or anything that the new Tekken games have at the moment. The game is more simplistic. We're up against the boss now, Unknown, which we find out in Tekken Tag Tournament 2, finally, that it is confirmed to be Jun. Sorry if you haven't played Tekken Tag Tournament 2, I should have done a little spoiler alert. But come on, you can't say that you didn't know, everyone knew that shit. But the werewolf's not on, um, on Jun in that game. I think it's because it's a tra final transformation or some shit. Nice grab there. She just pulled out Yoshimitsu's move. I forgot she's just like Mercury Jin in this game. Oh, she knew I was gonna go for a. She's pulled out Bruce now. I can tie from the tie boxing. Oh, finish her. Got her. I'm sure there's another round. No, there isn't. Okay, guys, enjoyed the cheesy movie. If there is one. Stage one. I'm not sure if I went to Time Attack. No, I'm pretty sure I went to Arcade.
Yeah, you know, guys, just enjoyed my finishing moves and tea bags. Ooh, look at that, he's getting ready to just step on his crotch. Okay, Bam doing a nice kick there. Okay, guys, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, this epic nostalgic video. And I'll bring out some more playthroughs if you enjoyed the video. And also, be sure to check out the two videos at the end of this video, which will take you to previous videos and even a random video. Just gonna let everyone enjoy the last finishing move on unknown. Total of 11 minutes, not bad. Okay, so going on to the credits for your information if you didn't know. I'm sure it's gonna play the movie now. No it's not okay. This is Jazz the Behemoth aka Jazzy Fizzle. Over and out. Peace.